And so Ezekiel tells about this redevelopment of the land. The desolate land has become like the Garden of Eden, and surely it has. It's interesting that even as we were traveling, uh, the guide, uh, as we were up there on the Golan Heights and saw the agricultural development up there, he said, this land which was just so barren, is look at it, it's like the Garden of Eden. And uh, so it is. But then the Lord said in Ezekiel 36, Then the heathen that are left round about you shall know that I, the Lord, build the ruined places, and I plant that which was desolate. I, the Lord, have spoken it, and I will do it. The certainty of God's word. Here he said in verse 5, Write, for these words are true and faithful. If God has said it, you can count on it, it shall be. Here is the land of Israel, and here it was so desolate and barren for 2,000 years. And then they began, or 1,900 years, and now they have developed the land so much uh, from an agricultural standpoint. Israel has become the third largest exporter of fruit of all of the nations of the world. Little tiny bit of land, hardly bigger than New Jersey, and yet uh, are supplying fruit throughout all of Europe. You go to Europe today in the markets and uh, you find the uh, fruit that comes from Israel there in the marketplaces in Europe as they have blossomed and budded and are filling the earth with fruit. God said, I said it, I've spoken it, and I will do it. And, and I like going there and reading to the people this particular vo verse as we look at the agricultural uh, development of the land and say, God said it, and look, he's done it. Now he has done it. He doesn't have to say, I will do it, because now he said, I he would say, now I have done it because you can see it fulfilled right before your eyes. These words are true and faithful. It is, and in verse 6, and he said unto me, it is done. I am the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. And I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. It is finished, it is done. The Lord said, I am the Alpha and the Omega. Alpha, of course, is the first letter of the Greek alphabet. Omega is the last letter. And so God said, I'm, I'm complete. I'm the beginning and the ending. Uh, back in Revelation 1.8, the Lord said, I am the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is, which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. Revelation 1, 17, And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. He laid his right hand on me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. Paul, writing the, to the Philippians, said, Being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. The Lord's not going to drop you. Uh, the Lord's not going to forsake you. He's begun a good work in you, and you can be confident that he is going to complete that which he started, his work in your life. He doesn't give up. He will work until he brings it to completion, the being confident of this, that he which has begun a good work will perform it till the day of Jesus Christ. David wrote in Psalm 36, For with thee is the fountain of life. In thy light shall we see light. 
Isaiah said, therefore with joy shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation. Isaiah 55, 1, Ho, everyone that thirst, come to the water. He that has no money, come, buy and eat. Yea, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Jeremiah said, or God spoke through Jeremiah saying, for my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed out cisterns. But there are broken cisterns that can hold no water. Now, the land of Israel is much like the state of California. Weather is quite similar. Uh, they have the hills where they get the snows. They have the valleys that are mild winters, not severe winters at all. Uh, and uh, as a result of this excellent climate, it's just a great place to live. And uh, the only problem is the lack of rain. And thus, because it is a land that uh, gets about the same amount of rain that we get here in California, uh, they have water conservation. And uh, they, in the early days, uh, they were what they called dry farmers. Uh, they would put out their crops in the spring and trust in the spring rains to bring the crops up and uh, they usually had early harvests in June, July, they would harvest. And uh, uh, it was strictly just watered uh, by uh, the, the rainfall. Now, because of the shortage of water or just they trusted in rainfall, uh, they would dig these cisterns. Uh, they would dig them out of the solid rock. And some of these cisterns are quite large. Up on uh, the top of Masada, uh, where you're in a desert area and there is really much less rain, maybe uh, six, seven inches a year, uh, but there is rain up in the foothills uh, and the rivers would flow down into the Dead Sea at, and during the rainy season, uh, they uh, would direct the rainwater coming down these uh, gullies uh, in these troughs up to the uh, top of Masada where they had dug these huge cisterns. And, and you can go into these huge cisterns, maybe uh, half the size of the center portion of the sanctuary here. And uh, they would trust in uh, the water in the cisterns uh, for uh, their domestic needs. And uh, so, uh, <laughs> of course, water that is in a cistern will, after a while, develop the little uh, wiggle toes and so forth. And uh, so, you know, you strain it before you uh, drink it, unless you want more protein. And, uh, <laughs> And it's, uh, but they would, that's where, you know, the water out of the cistern was not really fresh water. Now, they do have springs, and uh, right there in Jerusalem, there's a, a very uh, wonderful spring that uh, you could go down into the spring. In fact, you can even walk in the spring this, uh, at the present day, the tunnel that Hezekiah made uh, from the spring uh, on into the city. Uh, you can walk that tunnel. It's an interesting uh, thing to see uh, how that they had dug uh, in this, uh, through the rock to get the water uh, from the spring on into the city when they were being threatened with a siege. And uh, the, but there's a vast difference between what they call living water because that's a fresh spring water uh, and a vast difference between the living water, the fresh spring, spring water and the water out of cisterns. 
And, and so it is interesting that the Lord would say, you know, they have forsaken me.